No miracles, Gail, unfortunately not. No, um, they're progressing, progressing well. Reese, Reese was uh, outside today having a little, a little jog, but nothing to report in terms of anything else. Um, Jorginho, slight problem with his foot, doubtful for tomorrow. Um, apart from that, we're the, pretty much the same, same group we had. And Kepa? Still, uh, still unavailable. We'll see. He's got to take it day by day. It's a, 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 a tear in his plantar fascia. So again, how he responds, how he responds to pain, how comfortable he feels. But at the moment, um, not so positive. No. Uh, and just coming back to Rhys James, put some weights on that. Not really. No. No. I think it's just how he how he responds. We don't want to um, rush anything. I certainly don't want to put any time scales on it. That's for him and the doctors and the physios. Well, everybody, you need to be. Um, you spoke a few weeks ago, sort of saying there's not much noise, and, and you're pretty honest. You said, I suspect it might not stay that way very long. Um, is the enormity of where you are, what you're doing, and the scrutiny beginning to um, sort of make itself flash at you and ignite itself for the weekend? Um. No, I, I, I'd, I'd be lying here if I, if I said to you that I didn't expect it at some point. It's, it's, you take this job and you take this challenge on, then of course there's going to be times where it's not a, 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 a pleasant road, shall we say, and you have to deal with that. You have to be honest and say, okay, we need to do better, and that's my responsibility, and take that. But, you know, I think we're, we've had a six week period in the end where we're going to play 13 matches, eight of them away. It has a toll on, on everything, um, some injuries to some key players, it can get messy, it's part of the process. I've been through it at Brighton, been through it at Swansea, been through it in my club at Sweden. So it is what it is and you, you know that's part, of the, that's part of what the job is, to deal with it. You said at some point you, you might have had a, a little bit more freedom to I don't think you can ever predict in football, you know, and like I said, I think when I said when results were quite good, I was honest enough to say we, we still got a lot of things to do to improve. It wasn't, uh, you know, it's not like we were sitting there thinking we cracked football by any means. You can see from the games, performance-wise, we can improve a lot. Uh, that's exciting, but that's also the, the job. That's also the challenge, and and that's what we're looking to do. That's what we're looking forward to the game tomorrow. That's what we're looking forward to the game against Newcastle because that's where you can learn a lot about each other. Well, you have to. It's not about me or my uh, ego or anything like that. It's about doing what's right for the team, what's right for the club. We have to go to Manchester City and be competitive because, for sure, they will be um, trying to win the game. We have to be as strong as we can, which we will, and we'll um, we'll do our best. We'll prepare the team, and um, you know, with the greatest respect to our opponent because they're a fantastic team, we have to go to try to win the game. I think he's, um, you can tell by his reaction, he's honest. Um, players <coughs> go through moments in their career where it isn't so positive and sometimes they go where it's where everything they touch is, is, is gold, so to speak. Um, as I've said before, I don't think you can zoom into the individual. But the team isn't functioning as well as we would like, I would like. So that has an impact on the individuals and Raheem is an individual in the team so the work for us is to try and improve the team, improve the structures and then I have no doubt about Raheem's quality, Raheem's ability, it's, it's a proven top, top player. Well, you have to do that constantly. I think that's that's what it is. That's what 
the job entails, not just for him, for for lots of players, because it's you know, it's, like I said, it's been a tough period. Um, lots of things happening, lots of transition, lots of uh, change, new faces in the dressing room, new faces everywhere. It's trying to get it all to gel and settle down, and then to try and develop a playing style. As you can see, we're we're we're, we're We've got a lot of work to do in terms of that, but that's um, that's why we came here, you know, to, to, to produce the top team, and we've got a long way to go, but it's exciting. Okay, any more, James? Um, right, I think you say you take the competition seriously, I'm sure, but given the condensed schedule of the whole season, the World Cup, the fourth round of this competition is two or three days after the World Cup final. In the grand scheme. Well, I wouldn't say that. No, I mean um, <clears throat> we play the game. We have to we have to uh, go there and be competitive and, and try to win because I think that mentality is important. And then the game, <clears throat> if we get through, if we get through, we, we will use in a positive way. But um, uh, we're not in a place where we can just say no. This this game's not doesn't matter. We want to we want to be competitive and we want to try and because that's how you can learn from from yourself. It's so you can learn from the game. It's an important part of the process. Well, it's, I don't think it's uh, it's two separate things, isn't it? The World Cup final, when it is, is what it is. I mean, you've got a Premier League game not so far after that. So, I mean, you know, it's, that's not ideal either. But we all know that that's what we, the situation we have to face. And then, OK, if that, like I said, that game comes, then we can use that as preparation for the Premier League game. And there's some games, if, so if, if it depends who plays in the World Cup final, then clearly they won't be able to play, but we've got others that can. Okay, last two, Scott, and then Simon. Um, just kind of in relation to Mateo Kovacic, obviously his injury issue as well. Is well, what is the kind of detail? That what is the issue, and how far away is he from being like 100 percent to play? Well, he's just had an ongoing, I would say, ongoing knee issue. That's a little bit of uh, discomfort, but it hasn't stopped him completely. It's just he's not able to probably play. Certainly, we have, we've had to be conscious of that during this period. It's not a massive problem for him. He'll be fine for the World Cup. He's it fine. He's, you know, I wouldn't say he's necessarily 100%, but he's not far off that. It's just we've managed it really well, and he's managed it really well. He's a top professional, and he's done everything he can in terms of rehab, in terms of looking after himself in the gym, making sure his body's as good as it can be. He's a fantastic professional. But, um, yeah, he, he's, I think it's been going on from pretty much pre-season, and we've tried to make the best of it. Okay, last one, Simon. Hi, Graham. Um, the Sunday's result, I know I don't expect you to remain in the team, whatever, but has it affected your selection for tomorrow? Sort of that having lost the game on Sunday, you now sort of feel like you've got a player stronger team than perhaps you would have done. I, don't, I think that's a bit reactionary. I think you've just got to look at the the game on 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 the weekend. Uh, results disappointing, performance. Was disappointing. We can, we, we, we want to do better. We want to play better. Um, the intention for that is clear for us all. And then we use this game as a okay. This is the next step for us. This is how we can try to move forward. This is a chance for us to learn more about the squad, more about the players. Um, carry on that process. There's no shortcuts, as I've said many a time. There's no shortcuts. There's no click of the fingers and everything goes. You have to go through some pain sometimes. You have to. You have to suffer, as I said, and you come through, you find out about people, you find out about the team, you find out about the, the club, you find out about everything, and then you can move forward, and that's that's exciting. Does that mean can we expect to see some youngsters tomorrow night and the Marley Hutchinson, one of them, and what do you make of him, <coughs> given that he was on the bench on the against Brighton? He's in the squad, uh, Lewis Hall's in the squad, they've, they've been pressed. Um, they've been training with us for, for a while now, and they've got some... You know some some good qualities, young players that we just need to you know nurture and take the right steps with, but they'll be in the squad and and involved and involved.